This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Lures versus Kozak. Miss Kozak, you all are dating. This is your first significant relationship in some years. And you had a prior appearance in this court as an accused. Yes, Your Honor. But you fear issues of infidelity with Mr. Kozak are now appearing in your relationship. Yes. Tell us why you've opened this case. Okay, Your Honor. So, I know that Will is cheating on me. You know, I've been here before. I've done this. All the tall tale signs are there. And, you know, I, I'm praying that it's not true because I do love him. And I want to continue building this relationship. But I'm about to renew my lease, and I don't want to make the mistake adding him to my contract if he's cheating on me. So you got some stuff at risk. <laughs> Mr. Kozak, she says you're cheating on her. What do you have to say about that? I I'm here to prove that I'm not, and I'm being faithful. So you're like, this is not me. It's, it's not me. She I think she's paranoid, and, and she's worried for all the wrong reasons, because her past relationships hurt her. God. Well, and she says this is her first long-term relationship, so, you know, she is wanting this relationship to work out. She wants to believe that you're not cheating, but she says the warning signs are there, the telltale signs, because she has stood where you're standing right now. If she believed that, um, that she wanted this to work, I, we wouldn't be here right now. All right, but you, Miss Lewis, said you see the warning signs. You've been here and done that. Tell me what warning signs you see. Okay, first, Your Honor, in the beginning of our relationship, we also were very intimate, like, every day, multiple times a day. Oh, now, boy. Now, all of a sudden, we laying in bed, he's turning away from me, and I'm like, you know, let's do something. He's like, I'm tired, I'm not in the mood. I You're... started working a lot more, too, you know, from the beginning, too, and I didn't have this job from, from the beginning. But okay. But now I got a new job. I've worked more hours, and I'm I'm exhausted. And you know I don't always want to come home and have sex with her. I'm sorry. You know I'm I'm be tired, and I know I gotta I do things all day, every day, not just work. I got okay. uh, I got but, other priorities. Mr. Mr. Kozak, you know the, the court papers indicate that you're 23 years old. Man, if you ain't doing it now, you ain't uh -huh. never gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I mean, Rod, am I lying? Am I wrong? Not lying. Okay. Yeah. I mean, at 23, you should have boundless energy. Yeah, especially for you know, that activity. If, if you're not going to have it at 23, Wait, you're not going to have it at 53. I can tell you. <laughs> can what? you tell him at 53? Oh, at 53, you know, you still have some energy. Don't get me wrong. I, right? I was like, I, okay. I haven't missed a beat. I was like, what have I missed? Okay. All right, but it's a difference. You got to put some extra work into it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's how you work out, Mr. Yeah, Keller. That's why I work out, you know, right. stay in shape, hit the treadmill. You got to put some extra work into it. All right. Well, I appreciate it. At 23, it should come naturally. So, those are your warning signs. Have you seen any or do you have any evidence that supports that he's cheating actually? Oh, yeah. All right, tell me about like, that. One time when we finally were being intimate, he's on top of me, you know, we're getting into it, and I lean up to go kiss on his neck, and here I see in the light a hickey. Oh. Uh, you're sure it was a hickey? Oh, like, that's definitely what it looked like. Where was you know? it? On his, like, shoulder, neck. Right here, like on the collarbone? Yeah, that's what I meant, collarbone. Okay, what... Well, hey, go are ahead, you, look. Are you saying that's not where you put it? I mean, what are you saying? No, I know for a fact it wasn't for me. We ain't had sex in weeks. Oh, oh and the okay. picky don't last that long. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. All right, so you have a demonstration about this hickey. Yes. All right, Ron, would you go help our litigant with this yes, sure. demonstration? Mr. Kozak, you know... You've been working uh, out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that vest covers a lot. So, where exactly did you see the hickey on Mr. Kozak? Right. Is that <laughs> lipstick? It was like that, right there on the... Kind of like on the collarbone. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Was Kozak? it... Wait, hold on. Was it a fresh hickey, or what? did it look like it was fading? Oh, what no. did it look it like? It looked fresh. Like, you know how brews are colored, like yeah. purple and stuff? It yeah. was like red. Oh. All right, Mr. Kozak. This incident happened right after I got off work, and, and, you know, I tried to explain to her she wasn't accepting any answers, but, you know, it happened while I was at work lifting a box, you know, in and out of the freezer. Were you getting hickeys while you're lifting boxes? 
Yeah. Okay, it wasn't hickey, it was a bruise to my shoulder. Oh, okay. Because I'm left-handed and I hold a box a different way and it and it's and it's full of frozen products. Yeah, and, and you were and you were heavy. working with no shirt on. No. And there was no tear on your shirt. A, uh, a, a box doesn't but make it, it bruised you that a bad, box right? doesn't make a tear in a shirt. And you brought a box. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to demonstrate how you got this bruise? Yes, I would. Uh, on your collarbone that you know Miss Lewis thinks is a hickey. I carry it like this, and so I can see where I'm going, and I don't drop it, and I don't bump into anything in the in the How restaurant. But the problem is the hickey's on the other side. See, she put it on oh. your left side. Oh. Yeah, I can't even get your story in line. Well, it's her story's out of line then. Now, are you sure that that was from the box? I'm sure. That's his story, Cullen. He's sticking with He's it. He's sticking to it. All right, do you have any other reason to believe that Mr. Kozak is cheating? Yes, the lying about work. The lying so, about work. In the beginning of our relationship, he worked, like, part-time hours, 30 hours a week at the most. Okay. Shortly after, he had started working full-time hours plus some overtime, which is fine, no problem, more money. Right. So I get on our account. We have a shared account, bank account. And I checked it when he got paid, and the money didn't increase. Huh. So I asked him about it, and he's like, oh, well, they're taking more taxes since I'm making more money. Okay, which I'll is, let Which that is fly. reasonable. Yeah, it's but... It's reasonable, but is it true? If I'm in the right tax bracket, it is, it is reasonable, and it is true. But that night, I had been cleaning the house and had found his work bag with his pay stubs in it. Ah. And these hours definitely were not matching up with what he was claiming he was working. So did you ever go and confirm that he's working when he says he's working? Have you ever done that? Actually, when that happened, I had started sending my niece Desiree to his work to check up on him. Okay. And so she... Did she see him at work? That's what she claims. Mr. Kozak, I mean... Because he needed some All these accusations time. and all the... Of her just thinking I'm cheating, it, honestly, I wanted to get away from her. I, I... You know, she would drive me crazy, and I, I... I couldn't stand it. Coupled with everything else, I mean, you can understand why she thinks that you're keeping time with somebody else, right? Oh, I understand why, but, you know, it's not true. And she's even said she sent her niece up there to see if you were at work. And I was there, and I called her out on it, too. What does your niece say about your relationship with Mr. Kozak? Oh, she absolutely agrees with me. She tells me that he's definitely cheating. You know, she knows the signs. She's been there. And she told me that I should leave him. Well, we have your side, your boyfriend's side, and we have your niece's side. She is here to testify. How are you, Miss Massey? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Now, you have been here... You were here before, is that correct? Yes. And you were accusing your aunt of cheating with your boyfriend, is that correct? Correct. All right, let's go to the clip. I suspect that he is cheating on me with my aunt. <laughs> your blood relative? Blood relative. Why would you think that your aunt is sleeping with your boyfriend? Well, because she's done it before. So, how has your relationship with your aunt been since you left court? Since leaving court, me and Cassie's relationship was okay. I mean, it didn't really go back to the way it was because, obviously, after leaving um, here, they had both admitted to sleeping together. Um, now, when she admitted it, finally, I had already broken up with him. So, I mean, I was... I was hurt, but I was okay with it because I knew he was trash anyway. Mm. Um... <laughs> She still comes to me and confides in me with her problems and everything. Um, I just wouldn't say it, it, was, it is what it used to be. But you all grew up, if I remember, like sisters. You all were very close. That is correct. And she still sees you as a confidant. Even though it may not be what it was, you all, I would still say, it sounds like you still have a close relationship. Oh, yeah. At the end of the day, I'll always have her back, um, to an extent. Well, you know, your aunt has testified that you believe that Mr. Kozak is cheating on her. That is correct. Right. So, who do you believe he's cheating with? I'm gonna let him tell you guys that. Oh. All right. Mr. Kozak? I don't know what she's talking about. 
We have done a complete investigation to get to the bottom of this, to find out the answers. At this time, the court would like to call former military interrogator Lena Sisko to find out, is he cheating? Robert, <laughs> How are you, Ms. Cisco? I am well, Your Honor. How are you? I'm good. It's good to see you, as always. Thank you. Tell us what you did to investigate this case. So I first had the accused write a witness statement, and I went through it looking for any indicators of truthfulness and deception. And then I studied their case files, and I put together an interview plan, and then I interviewed Mr. Kozak to see if he was cheating on Ms. Lewis. All right. Mr. Kozak, you're looking down. You got a weird smile on your face. Do you have something you need to tell this court and, more importantly, Ms. Lures? Yes, there is, actually. All right. Last December, when me, you, and Desiree got drunk and you passed out, me and her had sex. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's what we're on. So, Mr. Kozak, are you saying this was just a one-time thing you're now confessing, or, or what's no. going on? Why are you smiling like it's funny? Well, I, I, I got a hold of her a couple days later to see if it was just a one-time thing, and, you know, it, it was a reincurring thing. And it happened more than once. So you've been having sex with her niece? Yes, I have. Since December? Yes. Ms. Massey, is that true? That is completely true. I have receipts. You have receipts. I have proof. Oh, These are text oh, messages between who and who? Me and Mr. Kozak. All right. He wrote, I can't wait for all this to come out so we can finally be together. I hate acting like I'm happy. I just want to be with you. Wow. I know, baby boy. You just got to get up the nerve to tell her. She's going to be mad, but oh well. <laughs> I'm going to marry you one day. <laughs> You wrote these? Yes, I did. Well, wait, there's more. I love you. I love you more. Hey, Daddy, how was work? <laughs> it was good. Just wish I could have oh. came home to you. One day, what baby, one day. I know. It can't come soon enough, though. Miss mm. Lewis. I feel sick. I, how, <laughs> I, I mean, this has to be a complete, utter shock to you. Oh, yeah. Like, I definitely that we were past this. Two years. You waited that long? And you hid it from me, and this is how you're gonna bring it out hey, to me? I wanted to tell you forever ago, he was the one that didn't want to hurt you. Okay, we're family. I've been, I've you could have told to me. I've been waiting to jump on the opportunity to tell you. We could have okay, did this. was this payback for what happened before? No. You're no. sure? I mean, it crossed my mind in the beginning, but like I said, we both got drunk, and it, and it, and it happened. That was the first time. What about the second time, the third time, the fourth time, and all the other times? Sometimes you just get addicted. I... So, Mr. Kozak, it wasn't work that was tiring you out. It was trying to juggle these two women. That was what was exhausting you. But what about when... She's done it five times to me. Why should I feel bad? So it is a revenge thing. It was in the beginning, yes, but not now. No. So you are testifying that you're in love with Mr. Kozak. I am. And you want to be with him? We are going to be together. And, Mr. Kozak, so I guess the hard question, the question du jour, when you walk out of this courtroom, who are you going home with? Oh, that's no question. That's right. <laughs> You're going home with Miss Massey? Yes, I am. You got your stuff packed? Yes, It'll I be do. at your mom's before you get home. <laughs> Half of it's already at my house anyway. This is, this is bad. Yeah, yeah, I was done two years ago. I thought we were over it, you know? Of course you were after you hurt me over and over and over. Oh, because I did it intentionally. Yeah, oh, you... I, I, I didn't feel bad for hurting you. How do you accidentally you? sleep with your niece's boyfriend five times? Okay, yeah, and I understand that. I made my mistake. Okay, but, but I, I don't want to hear that. I didn't intentionally think. I was actually drunk. I actually made a mistake. I continued to do it because I wanted to. Okay. I'm not claiming that that was a mistake. The first time it was a mistake, we shouldn't have continued it, but we fell in love. You can't help who you love. Okay. The difference is, is you intentionally sober, screwed, Five of my boyfriends preceded a relationship with two. One lasted almost five months. But, Miss Massey, yeah. if you already know what that feels like, you've done the same thing. And, and I, two wrongs don't make it right. I wanted to tell her after the first time. I didn't mean out of respect for him. 
Well, everybody needs to go see Dr. Jeff up in here right now. <laughs> uh, I can't wish you well, but I do wish you gone out of here. <laughs> so. And... And this, this... Y'all don't need to come back to us anymore. Yeah. <laughs> there, this no. is not a three-strike courtroom, so y'all don't yeah. need to come back with a third strike. Go talk to Dr. Jeff so you all can figure this out and you all can move forward so you each can move forward in a healthy way. And as we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a happy, healthy relationship. Court is adjourned. <laughs>